case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1970, a high-profile lawsuit in the Supreme Court of California, Parker v. 20th Century Fox Film Corp., took center stage. This case pivoted around the mitigation principle, a rule under law that requires non-breaching parties to take reasonable steps to minimize the damage suffered due to the breach of a contract. Star actress Shirley Parker had secured a contract with the 20th Century Fox Film Corporation to play the lead role in a musical film, Bloomer Girl. The contract had specific entitlements that allowed Parker to control and approve the director and dance director of the film. However, the film corporation decided to switch gears and cancel Bloomer Girl, instead offering Parker a serious role in Big Country, Big Man, a project based in Australia. In this new offer, Parker would lose her directorial rights and control that was a part of the original agreement. Parker refused this offer and consequently sued the film corporation, claiming it was in breach of contract. In a significant verdict, the lower court found in favor of Parker, stating that she was indeed entitled to the agreed compensation under the original contract, irrespective of the fact that the film was canceled. The case set the precedent that employees could not be compelled to accept job offers deemed inferior in order to minimize damage resulting from a breach of contract. However, Justice Sullivan dissented, arguing that the reasonability of such a refusal should ultimately be left to a jury's decision. According to him, the courts could only play a role in shaping the potential jury perception of what constitutes a reasonable substitute. Such a view throws light on the intricate dynamics of contract law and the need for a fair and just resolution in breach of contract cases. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.